Hi and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's Game of Thrones prediction video for episodes 9 and 10 of season 6. So there's a few predictions I want to make based off of what occurred in episode 8. So first off I have to give you a spoiler warning for Game of Thrones up to season 6 episode 8 as well as a spoiler warning for production leaks for season 6 and a spoiler warning for the Song of Ice and Fire novels on which Game of Thrones is based. So the main reason I decided to make this video is so I can make one bold prediction in particular. I mentioned this prediction a couple of weeks ago in one of my discussion videos with Abkintanko. However, I wanted to make this prediction official as I feel very strongly about it. So here it goes. My bold prediction for Game of Thrones Season 6 finale is that Arya Stark will kill Walder Frey. I believe in my earlier prediction videos that I made uh, before the season started, I stated I didn't think that this would happen this season and would be reserved for a later season. But after seeing the events that occurred uh, this season, um, I changed my mind, as I said a few weeks ago, but I feel much more strongly about it now after seeing episode 8. So let me tell you why I feel that way and how I think this will go down. First off, we've known from quite some time from production leaks that Arya Stark will be in the Riverlands in Season 6. So after watching this episode, the question you might ask yourself is why? Why would Arya go to the Riverlands? In my original prediction videos, I predicted it was because the Faceless Men would send her there on a mission. But now that that's off the table, why would she go there? As in this episode, she refers to herself specifically as Arya Stark of Winterfell. In fact, I saw several reviews where they just assumed she was returning to Winterfell. Uh, she booked passage to Westeros and could literally go anywhere she wanted to, so why then would she go to the Riverlands? What is in the Riverlands that could possibly interest her? Well, what have they been teasing with Arya this whole season, and in fact, the previous season? Her kill list! Uh, they make a point to mention it over and over again, how important this list is to her. In fact, killing someone off that list is what got her in trouble with the Faceless Men in the first place. And the list used to be much longer. In Season 5, it was shortened to just four names. Marin Trant, Cersei Lannister, The Mountain, and Walder Frey. In Season 4, it used to be much longer with names like The Red Woman, Beric Dondarrion, Doris of Mir, Aelin Payne, but those names just suddenly disappeared uh, in season 5. Why? While in the original uh, episode when it first aired, I said because these are the names the writers wanted to focus on because they were the ones that would get some payoff in the future. And indeed, at the end of that season, we did get some payoff as she scratched one of those four remaining names off of her list, Marin Trant. So, when she repeated her list this season and only had three names, Cersei Lannister, The Mountain, and Walder Frey. And since Cersei and The Mountain are in the most heavily fortified and defended place in all of Westeros, it means Walder Frey would be the easiest one to get to. So now that Arya has reclaimed her name and identity, I believe her priority will be the same that has always been getting her revenge by completing her kill list. Because has she said to Lady Crane earlier that revenge would be the strongest emotion one would feel after suffering a tragic loss. And with her newly acquired assassin skills, I strongly think that this will be her first order of business. So as for uh, Walder Frey, we, saw, uh, we see him uh, for the first time after three years uh, this season where we're reminded of how big of a dick he is and while he gloats about the uh, Red Wedding. Uh, we also get these storylines where Jamie and the phrase retake River Run, which on the surface would seem to be a rather pointless storyline, except it reminds the viewer of how big of a dicks that the phrase are and that they still need to be taken care of. In the trailers for Season 6, we see a clip of Walder Frey toasting a bunch of Lannister soldiers 
it looks now that they are congratulating them on successfully retaking River Run. And I do believe this would be the perfect occasion for Arya to use her newly acquired skills of disguise to slip in and kill Walder Frey. And has another alternative, if I want to make my prediction more grandiose, is that she in fact traps Walder and all the Lannister soldiers and Frey soldiers in that room and burns them all alive in glorious bastard style. And perhaps she gets help from the Brotherhood Without Banners, whom we know uh, from Walder's earlier scene have been giving the phrase a hard time, meaning that she would meet up with them and her old buddy the Hound shortly before and execute this plan together. I'm not too sure about that part of the prediction, but I am sure that Arya Stark will kill Walder Frey this season. So, since I'm here, I might as well give a few more predictions. I think Episode 9 will take place entirely in the North and will resolve the Battle of the Bastards. Well, I certainly hope that it will be resolved in Episode 9 and they won't leave a chunk of it to be resolved in the finale like they did in Season 4 with the Battle at the Wall, as I thought that was a huge mistake and made that whole scene anticlimactic. So, I'm going to be off optimistic and assume that they won't make the same mistake again. So some people have speculated that this means that we won't get a battle in Marine. However, there were clips of the Sons of the Harpy going around killing people that we have yet to see. And uh, the reason they thought this is because they think that it would, wouldn't be in the budget, which will most likely be blown in next week's episode 9, Battle of the Bastards. However, they're forgetting that the Game of Thrones budget is much larger now than it has ever ever been before. And the fact, before season 6 started, people attached with the show promised that there would be hugely epic and expensive dragon scenes of the like we have never seen before in uh, this season. So, and so far in this season, we haven't gotten anything like that with dragons. But, to be clear, I'm not predicting a huge battle in Marine. It will be rather short, only taking up a portion of the finale, but we will get dragons burning ships, Dothraki killing Sons of the Harpy, and I do predict that Theon and Yara will show up during the battle, and since uh, they wish to ally with Daenerys, they will immediately attack the fleet of the Masters and help win the battle, which is why Daenerys will choose to make an alliance with them over Euron. Uh, and with their fleet, along with some of the ships they captured from the Masters, will leave for Westeros by the end of the season, leaving Grey Worm, Masande, and the Unsullied behind in Marine to rule in her absence. So that's all I really got. I just wanted to state officially my prediction that Arya will kill Walder Frey. Uh, be sure to check out my channel as I continue to review episodes of Game of Thrones as well as the occasional discussion video. And also check out my channel for other videos on shows like Star Trek, Orphan Black, and more. And be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all that. And thanks a lot for watching.